What's up, guys, gals, Jedi, Sis, all you fun people? Uh, a little light on the subject. So, let's go with my latest creation, or actually, it's an install. I didn't create this beautiful thing, but I didn't finish the install on This is my B2. Very excited about this saber. I'm excited to get it done. This is my actual personal. I had some time to get it done, finally. Uh, Luckily, I think this is the second one I've seen finished, including with the first one being Rick's uh, uh, prototype. We were talking about that earlier today. Uh, it is the V2 for Souls Hole. I got my, I did my own weathering job. Did not use the stencils. It's not a big deal to me. The stencils are what, and I think it looks uh, looks great like it is. I even did a little more on the pommel than it normally would be, and up here and all this stuff. So. Uh, we got the Romans clamp, finished clamp, uh, soft furnace card. Uh, that's a cool ass Greeblies on there. Uh, so with this, I uh, we did not go with a RGB tri create one of the GGW because I uh, my Canon savers, I want I, I try to keep them Canon so. Uh, just green and white, so I did. So I actually had a uh, crystal focus that I bought from Justin Marshall a few months back. He had a uh, bar graph already put on it. Uh, I needed something to put that thing in, and this happened to be it. Uh, so it's 6.5, maybe 6.1, 6.5. Didn't buy a uh, 7.5 because I didn't need to. To me, this is going to do the job. Uh, I did go with the 37 hack. I was going to go with the if I went with a uh, the installs. Um, the new the next one I'm doing is going to be RG uh, RB, RGB for Steven. Uh, we will use the 7.4 volt crystal focus. Mine. Uh, I didn't want to use a big ass resistor for my white, and I didn't want to have to wait in order the uh, the smaller resistors for the pads. So I went ahead and hacked it, yeah, yeah, whatever. Hate if you want. It's still actually, uh, you say you lose 30% of the sound, it's still pretty freaking loud. It's loud enough for me. Uh, and it does everything it's supposed to. So enough on that. Uh, so let's go ahead and take it apart. Because the cats are playing, I'm trying to hurry up and get back and watch it. Half time's over. So of course, you just pull us apart inside the golf. 3D Designs Master Chassis System, the only way to go with the Sabre, man. It's awesome. Tell you what, it is, uh, it was, a, it was, it was kind of challenging. It wasn't too bad. I've had probably rougher installs, wiring-wise. But if, uh, you don't have a lot of experience, it could be super challenging and frustrating for you. So, uh, choose wisely if you try to do this yourself. Uh, I went with 28 gauge wires. I've had a couple questions. The guys asked me what to go with. I would go with 30, maybe 32, man. 28 worked, but they were, uh, it was tight. Really tight, man. And, uh, uh, but it worked. So 30 will give you a lot more. The cram right in here is where it's really bad. Uh, hard to get all those wires into this part right here. And with this, uh, the, the uh, color extender, you got a lot of wires. It's going to go in between that. Cause it sits down inside there. Uh, I did go with the metal crystal chamber. Rick, this is masterpiece, man. I, that's all I can say about it. Is I love the chassis just as much as I do the saber. Uh, I did, you know, you guys know I, what I do with his chassis. I like to add my own little flair, uh, painted them up to make it look like my own. And I'm dropping the car and the plunger and all that shit out of it. So with that, another cool thing, I love this little kill key. Uh, I know it's simple, but instead of having to pull it out, all you got to do is turn it. It's got a little slot in it. You don't have to pull it out and it kicks on. You got the indicator right there. Uh, you can see in there the bar graph. And you can kind of see it up here too, actually. So it's pretty awesome. Let's fire up. Uh, real quartz crystal. I used the three mils. I didn't use five mil uh, LEDs. I used two, three mils, green and white. 
As you see, this Brian off looks great. Uh, 28 mil uh, Railmaster bass speaker. It's not bass speaker, it's Railmaster, so awesome. So slide this bitch back in. It's still kind of tight, and it's probably going to scratch the paint up, but you know, I don't care. Because uh, I'll probably put too many coats of black and stuff on there. Because I got it was white. Uh, so with that, I put the clamp back on. That was kind of a challenge too. Making sure you get that right. So that was fun. Slide it back in. Am well, I missing anything? I don't think I am. No. Uh... Right now, it has the fonts on it that, uh, that was sent to me with Justin. It says, that the car says Vader Vault SK something something, so I guess it's some star color fonts or something they have, I don't know. Uh, and it was hard at my computer for some reason. It takes forever to read the card, and it was being a bitch trying to get the new Return of the Jedi font Skywalker from Blaco. so I'm gonna make my own card for this saber. Uh, with the Lord Blake O'Fon on it, and probably the hero, of course, you know. So let's put this back on. Let's see how the volume just went up. And even the reverse vent is a pretty awesome idea because, you know, I'd have freaking drilled this thing out and freaking put a big ass speaker hole in there. Glad I didn't have to do that. So, hitting switches. Works perfect. The bad thing, the second part about it is, stop. You gotta be careful because I'm gonna turn it on again by shaking it. Uh, I didn't get a blade, no seven eighths blade. I got several one inches and I got a uh, three quarter. See, I just turned it on again. I got a three quarter inch blade for my. Uh, other V2, the parks, so, but nothing on this. Uh, you know, it's bright as hell. Excellent. Love the Saber. It's probably, it's took number one as my favorite Saber over my own Star Killer that I love. It's precious to me. This thing is, uh, this is one of my favorite Sabers anyway. This and the Obi Wan Final Menace. Uh, the Graflex is cool, yada, yada, yada. I got a, uh, a, uh, a real Graflex that I'm going to be building once the uh, vintage Graflex plant comes or the chassis comes through from Rail. He's making my life easier and awesome, building awesome savers. So, get to kill people I can, make sure we're good. There she is, man. Uh, I'm doing, like I said, I'm doing another install for Steven. Anybody, uh, I got a few questions about it. Anybody wanting, uh, wanting this thing installed, uh, I can't do it for you. Just hit me up. There's only a few left, so you better get them while you can. I've also been asked about hero versions. Man, it's not that hard. We It wouldn't be that hard to make this a hero. Would it, you know, it's not what it was meant to be, but a hero could be made easier just changing the clamp in the box. And doing the better paint job on it. Well, not the better, but not weathered and having the brass and all that shit on there. So, one more time, look at this. And there she is. Thanks for watching. Force be with you.